Now I'd like to present our second Titan of Conservatism Award. When I became the president of Heritage, I talked about the need to put our principles in writing so that everyone from our members to politicians to everyday Americans know exactly where the Heritage Foundation stood on virtually any issues. I call them our true North principles. Well, long before I became president, I used Rush Limbaugh as my true North for decades. I've been listening to his show since the very beginning. I even remember going to the dedicated Rush rooms in restaurants where you could listen to the show on your lunch hour. In his first few years with a nationally syndicated show, I always marveled at how people could call him up and say, thank you for speaking up like you do. I thought I was the only one who had those beliefs. The fact is, Rush helped bring the conservative movement together three hours a day for a family meeting. He helped everyday Americans realize they were conservative, and he brought millions of new people into the conservative movement. The extraordinary reach of his number one radio talk show has allowed him to convert millions with his common sense everyday language explanations of why conservatism works and how every American benefits because of it. Everyone in America knows that the conservative movement simply wouldn't be where it is today without the venerable Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh knew from an early age that he wanted to make his mark on radio. He's lived the American dream and we're all better off for it. Rush was never a conformist, even as a young boy growing up in Missouri. As a teenager, he began working in broadcasting as a disc jockey for his hometown radio station. He spent time at radio stations in Pittsburgh and Kansas City before hitting it big as an on-air host at KFBK in Sacramento, California. The views expressed by the host on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, nor sponsors of this station, but they ought to be. Rush's daytime talk show tripled the program's ratings in just four years. From there, in 1988, he went on to New York, where his record-breaking national show was born. But I think one of the real reasons for the success of the show is the perception, and as you know, in politics, perception is oftentimes reality, the perception by real people that the primary disseminators of information in this country are, are, are well, shall we say, slanted to the left. And here comes the first, and it's really the only national program on radio or TV that has uh, a conservative bias to it, admittedly so. Starting with just 56 radio stations, today, 32 years later, the show is heard on more than 600 stations by up to 27 million people each week. It is the highest rated national radio talk show in America. Rush thrived with a national platform to bring conservative ideas to the masses. His show combined serious talk about politics, culture, and social issues with satire and parodies. No one has revolutionized the media and political landscapes quite like Rush Limbaugh. I think I just happen to be saying what a whole lot of people think but don't have a chance to say themselves. That's why they call me the most dangerous man in America. Today he's known as the pioneer of AM talk radio, the doctor of democracy, and a daily appointment for millions of Americans who listen. President Donald Trump awarded Rush the Presidential Medal of Freedom, our nation's highest civilian honor, in February at the State of the Union, a fitting tribute for a great American. The Heritage Foundation is proud to honor Rush Limbaugh with the Titan of Conservatism Award for his outstanding contributions. Thank you, Rush, for helping Americans cherish freedom, for keeping our country on the right course and inspiring millions of us to be the best we can be each and every day. We conservatives, and I'm going to take the opportunity of this stellar appearance tonight to remind people who conservatives are. We love everybody. We love people. 
We see a sea of potential as we look out over the country. We want people to be the best they can be. We want people to be happy. We realize what a blessed opportunity it is to be born in the United States of America. And we want everybody to maximize their potential because that's how you get a great country. That's how you get great innovation. That's how you get great modernization. It's how you get a great military. It's how you get a great anything is great people. It's the people of this country who make it work. Rush, Heritage is building a brand new broadcast center at our Washington headquarters. And for your Titan of Conservatism Award, we are so proud to name our new state-of-the-art studios, the Rush Limbaugh Radio Studios. Our radio studios regularly host members of Congress, foreign dignitaries, and America's most preeminent scholars. Everyone who enters them will be reminded of what you mean to the Heritage Foundation and how important you've been to the entire conservative movement. Congratulations, Rush. Well, unfortunately, but understandably, Rush couldn't be with us at President's Club uh, this year. But he did send us in a nice message uh, acknowledging the, re the award. But then he did something even better. He mentioned it on his show today. So let's take a listen right now. Say a quick shout out to the Heritage Foundation. I'm going to have more on this tomorrow. They are building new recording studios in Washington. Today, they are honoring me with the 2020 Titan of Conservatism Award and dedicating the new studios to me. They're calling it the Rush Limbaugh Broadcasting Center uh, at the Heritage Foundation. Kay James is uh, making all this happen. I want to thank them very much. More detail tomorrow.